so today we are going to try Jackhammer from BrewDog. Um, I, we haven't been getting a lot of BrewDog beers here recently, at least not at my local uh, beer store. Uh, Jessica picked this up at Megabev in Kalamazoo. Uh, I did look up uh, this just to have it on untapped like I normally do. Um, India Pale Ale. Uh, 12 fluid ounces, 7.2% ABV. Now, the weird part is untapped is showing that this is 250 IBUs. I could see jackhammer from that, but really 250 IBUs. Uh, package on 9, 10, 19. This is the end of December, so we should be good. Uh, it doesn't say anything about 250 IBUs. And again, I'm going by untapped, so we'll really have to see uh, if it's very bitter or not. In my eyes, you cannot taste over 100 IBUs, but that's just me saying that. So let's go ahead and open it, get it into a glass, see what we think about it. Uh, I, if it truly is 250 IBUs, uh, obviously this is the highest IBU beer that I've ever had. Um, Off-white uh, head, it's almost like there's some yellow-orange coming up from the color. Uh, small medium bubbles in there, nice good head, a finger of head. Bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap color. Yeah, that bright yellow orangish color, semi-hazy. Uh, I can make the light box, but I couldn't tell you that it was a light box without knowing that. So I would say medium hazy level. Uh, some bubbles coming up, not very many at all. Let's go ahead and smell. Citrus, pine is what I get the most of. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit, but that, that grapefruit could be like the citrus is from the grapefruit. The pine, maybe some bitterness is from the grapefruit rind, something like that. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness in the back, but for a 7% uh, beer, I think you would get some sweetness as they're going to have to use more grain to bump up that ABV. Uh, from the smell, I was thinking if it was 200, if it was truly 250 IBUs, you would really get some bitterness in there. I I don't know if from all that hop, maybe the uh, the ones that they're using for the aroma are actually covering up all that bitterness. But to me, it doesn't smell like the bitterness should be that high. Let's go ahead and taste. Very interesting. Very, very smooth. Like a, 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 a juicy citrus up front. Very light body. Then it goes back into some pine, some grapefruit bitterness, but not very much. Aftertaste is more of that grapefruit, like the juice from a grapefruit with some, a, a little bit of bitterness, not very much. Yeah, in the back, like you, you get that juicy citrus up front, but once that pine hits, it's really piney. It, it like just takes over everything like that fruit juice or that fruit citrus or that citrus juice um, up front is just completely gone after your taste buds like wake up to that. And it really is a lot of pine until you get to the aftertaste. There is a little bit of sweet malt that is building a little bit, but for the most part, I don't know if this is truly 250 IBUs. I can't get over how smooth it is though. It's almost like drinking like a, a, a sweeter 
citrus juice, like not the tanginess of that, but it's got that profile and it's very, very smooth. Um, uh, massive gr grapefruit aroma, mild blend of bitterness. Caramel? I don't get caramel. Hmm. Yeah, it does mention bitterness, but I, I, I'm, I can only go with the information that I'm given. Now, obviously, I didn't check other sites. I could check BrewDog uh, just to see, but I, I want to stay with what I normally do, and that's untapped and the can. I would just think for that many IBUs, it would be on this can. And it and it's not. Hmm. Uh, on this one, I would probably have to go with a four point two five out of five. I really like it. I like that citrus um, juiciness in there. The the pine bitterness isn't overpowering. Yes, it's a little bit more than your typical IPA or double IPA, but it's not that bad. Uh, the body, I think, is what I like the most about this, is it's so smooth. It does drink like a New England, nice, smooth, like they are using oats, but you still get that um, IPA quality with that bitterness and citrus, if you wanted to say. So let's just check untapped and see what people are saying about this. 22 of my friends have had it, gave it a 3.75 out of 5, so obviously I like it a lot more than they do. Uh, 92,000 people have checked this in, 3.82 out of 5. Uh, I just want to see if anybody commented that the IBUs are really that high. Yeah, I... Hi... Uh, this says high IBUs kill me. Maybe it is. But, yeah, I don't see really anybody else saying anything. So, yeah, definitely a solid beer. Definitely one if you're into IPAs, you should pick up and try. So, if you like this video, check out some of these other videos over here. And until next time, happy brewing.